My name is Sarah, this is Robbie, and this is Brian. We work for the Alabama Department of Environmental Management in the Air Division. We are the stack testing team and we take our truck, trailer, and all of our equipment all over the state of Alabama to test smokestacks around the state. And Robbie is going to take some time to explain the equipment to you. So this is some of the equipment that we use to perform particulate tests with. By particulate, I mean dust or smoke. If it's smoke, if you can see it, it's particulate, and we can test that. We test how much is coming out of the stacks. So this equipment first consists of a probe, which has pitot tubes on it, which measures the flow. Then we have a nozzle, which that's where we actually, the sample goes in. Then we have a thermocouple, which is where we read temperature. So our sample comes in the nozzle, goes through the probe. This is our filter holder where the actual filter is housed. And that's what collects the particulate. Then our sample travels through our condenser, which is in the cooler. Then to our, through our meter box. This box is where we can increase or decrease the flow, the sample flow. We can control our heat. We have a temperature readout and various other things. And then finally we have a sample pump, which is a vacuum pump. So when we get ready to start the test, we place the probe in the stack, and then we turn our pump on. It is a vacuum pump, as I said earlier, and as you can see, it pulls the sample in. As the sample goes in and goes across our filter, the filter collects the particulate. <laughs> then we have the condenser, and this is a moisture knockout. So the way this works is our probe and filter are kept at around 250 degrees, which is above the boiling point of water, which is 212 degrees. <laughs> then, when the sample runs through the condenser in our cooler, which is in an in in a ice bath, the moisture is knocked out. It goes from a gas phase in the probe to a liquid phase in our condenser. Then as it goes through our box, we can read how much we sampled. We can read all our temperatures, and all of that goes into our final spreadsheet to get a final number. And at the end of a run, we do a cleanup of our probe and filter, and Sarah will explain that. So after every particulate run we do, we're going to take our probe and filter, and we're going to clean the probe with a brush, acetone, and collect it in a jar. We're going to take that mixture, as well as the filter that came out of the filter holder, and we're going to take it all back to our lab, dry it out, weigh it up, and we're going to use all the data we collected using our equipment to determine if the facility was in compliance or not. In conclusion, as an employee with ADEM in the Air Division, our goal is to help keep the air in the state as clean as possible. And we hope y'all learned something by looking at our equipment that we use to, to, to demonstrate that, to do that with. Thank you for letting us teach you this through this video, and we hope you have a great Earth Day. Bye!